I want to create a multiplication table in Excel, and I would like, I'm going to need to use absolute references in order to make this table easily. So I've got the setup of a multiplication table here in Excel. I've got uh, numerals down the uh, vertical column, numerals across the horizontal column, and at each intersection we'll get the product of the two numbers. So obviously 1 times 1 will be 1, and then 4 times 4 right here would be 16. So I want to have this multiplication table. Now if we write our functions right, our formulas right that is, then you shouldn't have to write it more than once. Although we may write it a couple times just to get used to the idea. Once you get used to absolute and relative references, you should be able to write a proper formula one time and then using copying and pasting or autofilling uh, in order to fill in where all, all the other places where you need that particular formula. So here's a quick way to find out when you need to use absolute and particularly where you need to use absolute references. So I'll go ahead and type a formula in here. Let's see, this will be equal b1 times a2 and of course the result will be 1 so that's accurate then I'll jump down to this one equals e1 times a4 and I'm getting a correct response there 4 times 3 is 12 so now I would like to see what is this what are the similarities between these two formulas and where the similarities exist that's where we're going to make absolute references for one of the formulas so that we can autofill the remainder of this particular table so I'm going to display my formulas and I see in this one I have b1 times a2 and in this one I have e1 times a4 so what are the similarities between these two formulas well, in the first part of the formula, they both refer to row 1. So, that would be something worth making absolute. So, I will create a relative column and an absolute row reference for the first part of this formula. See, the column letters are different, so those need to stay relative. What else is the same? A2 and A4. The column letters are the same. Therefore, the column letters should be made absolute while the row number should stay relative. So now I've got B1 times A2, where in the first part of the formula, the row number is absolute. And in the second part of the formula, the column letter is absolute. Now once that's corrected, I can go back to my results view and nothing has really changed but now I'll be able to successfully autofill downward and then autofill to the right completing the multiplication table with minimal effort